Hello. I'm Dr. Alfred Kinsey from Indiana University, and I'm making a study of sex behavior. What's your most common decision? There's more than one. I've learned that the gap between what we assume people do sexually and what they actually do is enormous. How young were you when you first experienced hugging? Necking. Petting. What did you dream about? That's why a study of this kind is so important. All we have is what people like you are willing to share with us. Does su su suppressing s Two or three times. No, only once. A day. I think about my cat. Lead to stuttering? A lot. So, if you're sitting comfortably there, let's begin. In an uninhibited society, a 12-year-old would know most of the biology, which I will have to give you in formal lectures. Dr. Kinsey's findings are shocking. Are you surprised at the success of your book? No, it shows that the world has wanted this done. And Dr. Kinsey. Here, here, here. Hoover is still annoyed that you won't help him find homosexuals in the State Department. It's advisable to stick to what's normal. You don't want to shake people up. Of course not. What did you expect? The enforcers of chastity are massing once again. What are we to you? Just lab rats? Is this just another part of the project? Stop using signs to justify what you've done. Forgive me, Mac. I've taken on so many other people's secrets. I don't want any of my own. Haven't I always been open to whatever you wanted? Sex is a risky game because if you're not careful, it will cut you wide open. You saved my life, sir. You just told me your entire history, but there hasn't been a single mention of love. Love is the answer, isn't it? But sex raises a lot of very interesting questions.